Hello, welcome to the Kumasi Center for Collaborative Research in Tropical Medicine, KCCR. I am Venus Nanabwachua Frimpong. It is my distinct pleasure to take you around the various laboratories here in KCCR and tell you what they do pertaining to research. So come with me and let's go see the laboratories we have. Okay, so here at KCCR, most of the laboratories or the main entrance to any of the laboratories are access controlled. So what I have right here is called a transponder and if you have access, that's when you could open um, the door to enter where the laboratories are. All these are laboratories. So we'll start with the one right here, which is the molecular lab. This is the molecular lab and um, we'll go right in to see what we have there. In this lab, basically what happens here is nucleic acid extraction. So both DNA and RNA extraction. We could also, over here, we also do um, quantification uh, of the DNA or RNA you have extracted from your sample. But this lab does not stand on its own completely. Um, it has attached to it um, a PCR room, which we also call a clean room, and then an amplification room. Because whatever you do here, um, the extension of it has to be an amplification of the nucleic acid you've extracted and further visualization to see what you've gotten. This is the gel electrophoresis lab. So after you've amplified the DNA, um, you need to visualize the product you've produced. Um, so we cast the gel and then you view under a fluorescence medium. This is the immunology lab and over here we basically do um, investigations or immunological assessments that has to do with a host and its immune interactions. So by means of measuring immune cells or cytokines or by identifying cell markers, surface markers as well. So that's basically um, the investigations we do here in this lab. This is the bacteriology lab. And in this lab, what basically happens is um, identification of bacteria species. So right from the preparation of the media to plating, to growing the cells by virtue of um, incubating it, checking on it, counting colonies, to preparing um, a slide, viewing under the microscope for identification, and further tests that are also done to identify a particular bacteria species present in the sample is what happens in this lab. Okay, so the next lab is the parasitology lab. So over here in this lab, it's more centered on processing samples and identifying a particular parasite that may be present in a particular sample. This is the entomology lab. So in this lab, we have three sections where we have as the rearing room or breeding site or what you can call an insect tree. Here, we have mosquitoes at their various developmental stages of the growth cycle. The eggs, larvae, pupae are in the water and in the cages are the adult mosquitoes. So next is the parasite culture room. So for parasite culture, you basically grow the plasmodium species in a growth medium just to increase the cell growth for further assessments. 
And this very space is an experimental room. Here, we do dissection of the mosquitoes into various parts, be it the head, the thorax, or the abdomen. And we also do mosquito identification here under the microscope. So these rooms in succession are cold rooms. Um, they contain freezers ranging from minus 20 to minus 150 degrees Celsius. This is KCCR's newly built Outbreak Preparedness Laboratory Block, which has ultra modern laboratories where we do advanced diagnosis and laboratory assessments. So come along with me, let's explore the new labs. This is a working cold room, it's a fridge with its temperatures ranging from 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Um, it has a high storage capacity for samples. This is the sequencing room. And in this room, we have some sequences. So this is the Illumina sequencer. There are two of them. It's ISEC 100 and this is a Sanga sequencer. Over here, um, what happens is the preparation of the libraries for sequencing. So we we'll take that into the first room where we went, where we had the sequencers. Um, lined up there. Okay. Next is the biosafety level 3 lab. This lab is basically a containment system. Um, what we need to know is that the biosafety lab or whatever level it is is dependent on the kind of organisms that we work on here. Mm -hmm. Its potential to be harmful to the individual working, the environment, and also the sample. So with the biosafety um, level three lab, it has the biosafety cabinet three. We also have centrifuges in there. But what's most striking is this double door autoclave. As I mentioned earlier, it's a containment system. Containment because we want to make sure that Whatever happens in there does not have interactions with what happens outside of that lab. So this is a biosecurity system. You would have to key in the access code before you could enter the level three room. This space here is um, the ante room. And before you get into the main lab, this is where you change your shoes and um, put on a lab coat, wear your gloves before you enter that room. Entry to this lab is restricted to only trained personnel to enter and work in the Biosafety 3 laboratory. Mm -hmm. 